Control is a fundamental managerial function. Managerial control regulates the organizational activities. It compares the actual performance and the expected organizational standards and goals. For deviation performance between actual and expected performance, it is necessary corrective action is taken. There are various techniques of managerial control which can be classified into two broad categories, namely traditional techniques and modern techniques. In this part, we will look at the traditional techniques. Traditional techniques are those which have been in use by companies for a long time and even useful right now. These include personal observation, statistical reports, break-even analysis and budgetary control. Personal observation. This is the most traditional method of control. Personal observation is one of those techniques which enables a manager to collect the information as first-hand information. It also creates a phenomenon of psychological pressure on the employees to perform in such a manner so as to achieve well their objective as well as be aware that they are being observed personally on their job. However, it is a very time-consuming exercise and cannot effectively be used for all kinds of jobs. Statistical reports. Statistical reports can be defined as an overall analysis of reports and data which is used in the form of averages, percentages, ratio, correlation and more areas. They present useful information to the managers regarding the performance of the organization in various areas. This type of useful information, when presented in various forms like charts, graphs, tables and more, enables managers to read them more easily and allow a comparison to be made with the performance in previous periods as well as benchmarks. Break-even analysis is a technique used by managers to study the relationship between costs, volume and profits. It determines the overall picture of the probable profit and losses at different levels of activity while analyzing the overall position. The sales volume at which there is no profit, no loss is known as break-even point. There is no profit or no loss. Break-even point can be calculated with the help of the following formula. Break-even point equals fixed costs divided by selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit. The third is budgetary control. And it can be defined as such technique of managerial control in which all operations which are necessary to be performed are executed in such a manner so as to perform and plan in advance in the form of budgets and actual results are compared with budgetary standards. Therefore, the budget can be defined as a quantitative statement prepared for a definite future period of time for the purpose of obtaining a given objective. It is also a statement which reflects the policy of that particular period. The common types of budget used by an organization are sales budget, a statement of what an organization expects to sell in terms of quantity as well as value, production budget, a statement of what an organization plans to produce in the budgeted period, material budget, a statement of estimated quantity and cost of materials required for production. Then there is the cash budget, an anticipated cash inflows and outflows for the budget period. Capital budget, estimated spending on major long-term assets like new factory or major equipment. R&D budget, estimated spending for the development or refinement of products and processes. This brings us to the end of this part. In the next third and final part, we will look at modern techniques of managerial control. Thank you.